And welcome back. The housing market is showing some signs of slowing down thanks to a new report from the National Association of Realtors for the month of March. They show that sales decreased compared to one month ago uh, this March and also compared to one year ago as well. Meanwhile, there's 14% more houses for sale compared to March of 2023. I have a lot to share in today's video, by the way, so let's go ahead and dive right in. This was posted um, last week on April 18th. It says, this is from the National Association of Realtors. It says existing home sales slipped in March, according to them. Among the four major U.S. regions, sales decreased in the Midwest, the South, and the West, but increased in the Northeast for the first time since November of 2023. Year over year, though, all these four major regions decreased from March of 2023. So here's a snapshot looking at uh, their seasonally adjusted annualized rate of home sales for this March was at 4,190. This basically means at the current sales pace for March at least, multiply that by 12, do a seasonal adjustment, and you get to 4.19 million. That's a decrease uh, on a year over year basis and also compared to one month ago. What's wild about this as well is that this is about 2 million less home sales compared to 2021. And 2021, we had 6.12 million for the entire year, and that was a 15 year high. So we have 2 million less compared to 2021. Absolutely crazy. Um, also, like I mentioned, for these regions, the Northeast, the Midwest, the South, and the West, all decrease on a year-over-year -year basis. The biggest decrease was actually in the South, down by 5%, whereas the only region that posted a gain compared to February was the Northeast, up by 4.2%, and big decreases in the South as well as the West. But wait, there's more, because I want to share my own analysis of their data here. Um, and going back to uh, the 1990s, by the way. So one thing to keep in mind when talking about any metric that has to do with a close home sale, this is you know the, uh, the current sales space this on uh, March, and also uh, the median sold price, that was what our housing market was like approximately one or two months ago when the buyer got their offer accepted. Because once you get your offer accepted, normally you get your keys to your house or the house becomes yours in approximately 30 to about 60 days. So in any case, I mentioned that because closed home sales for the month of March are mostly for purchase contracts being signed. In other words, sellers accepting offers from home buyers uh, back in uh, January when the average 30 year fixed rate for the entire month of January was at 6.6%. .6%. That's according to Freddie Mac. And also in February when rates were at 6.8%. So when looking at sales this March, this really has to do with rates back in January and February. And so far in April, um, average 30-year fixed rates have been at or above 7% um, ever since uh, April 1st of this year. And in fact, they have been ranging from uh, 7 to 7.5%. And this will likely limit the number of close home sales in the near term. Also at a 4.19 million, this is according to investing.com. This is in line with the streets forecast at 4.2 million, but this is uh, much lower compared to February's uh, uh, sales pace at just under 4.4 million, quite a bit lower than March's at 4.19 million. Now going back to this um, fun Excel spreadsheet here, I have an ant on my computer, how that happened. Anyways, um, the uh, decrease uh, compared to February in seasonally adjusted uh, close home sales was uh, down by 4.3%. This is quite the reversal compared to February. So here's what I said, had, had to say back in February. So from January to February, and keep in mind, these are seasonally adjusted, uh, sales increased by a whopping 9.5%, whereas this March, they decreased by 4.3%. And back in February, that 9.5% month-to-month increase beat the street's forecast by a long shot because the street was forecasting for a 1.3% decrease, not a 9.5% increase. So quite the turnaround compared to uh, February uh, right now. Also, this 4.3% uh, uh, decrease is the first monthly decrease since December last year. 
All right, let's talk about the year of year changes in sales because that fell again by 3.7%. Um, it's still down on a year over year basis, but it's not nearly as bad as what happened one year ago. In March of 2023, compared to March of 2022, sales tanked by 23.6%. So overall, we have a very low number of close home sales uh, right now. Um, this uh, year over year decrease, by the way, is now marking the 32nd consecutive month in which home sales were flat or down on a year of year basis. We're approaching nearly three years of year of year decreases. In fact, the last time we saw a increase in home sales on a year of year basis was way back in July, uh, 2021. And by the way, I should have mentioned this, but uh, the National Association of Realtors looks at sales of single family houses, townhomes, condos, and co-ops um, in these figures here. Um, also, uh, they look at these figures for um, home sales as well. In any case, um, something I added in this um, uh, video, I've been making this uh, similar video for, gosh, three years probably now. Uh, but looking at the current sales pace this March compared to March of 2019, um, sales have decreased by 20%. So again, a low number of close home sales. On top of that, we're down a whopping 31% compared to March of 2021. And again, back in 2021, for the year as a whole, we had a 15-year high in close home sales. So we're down compared to pre-COVID, and we're way down compared to the peak uh, back in 21. All right, let's go back to uh, NAR's announcement here and talk about inventory numbers. But then we'll talk about um, home prices based on the median sole price nationwide and also for each of the four major U.S. regions and have a lot to share regarding that as well. Uh, and for whatever reason, the National Association of Realtors does not provide, uh, provides very limited amount of um, analytics regarding home prices. So in any case, total housing inventory, which in my opinion, um, NAR looks at houses actually for sale plus pending home sales because their figures regarding inventory uh, tend to be a lot higher compared to other sources, according to Redfin and also altosresearch.com. Any case, looking at for the month of March, there's 1.11 million units for sale. That's up by 4.7% compared to the previous month and up a whopping 14.4% from one year ago. Um, also, the month supply is at 3.2 months. This is up from 2.9 months in February and also up from 2.7 months from 12 months ago. And you can see that right here, inventory uh, increase um, by 14.4% uh, year over year. One year ago, we we're at 970,000. Now we're just over 1.1 million. Also the month supply at 3.2 months increased by double digits compared to the previous month and also increased by a whopping 18.5% from March of 2023. All right, going back to a NARS press release, let's talk about home prices. And there's only two sentences here, so I'm gonna provide a lot more information for you guys. By the way, if you guys are getting any value out of this video, please hit the like button, I really appreciate that. Anyways, the median existing home price on a national level for all housing types in March was $393,500, an increase of 4.8% compared to the previous year. All four U.S. regions recorded gains in prices. And here's a chart showing just that. Uh, huge increases in the median sole price in the Northeast, up by 9.9% compared to the South, only increasing by 3.4%. Uh, again, gains in the Midwest as well as the West as well. And something to keep in mind here is that the gains in prices... And when I'm talking about prices, I'm talking about the median sole price. Uh, the gains in prices um, is also due to an increase in sales for over 750000 and also for a decrease in sales in the more affordable range. So I'm getting at here is that the mix in sales is also likely inflating some of these figures I'm sharing in today's video. And I'll share more of that here later in the video. First, I wanna share uh, this with you guys as well. This is based on my own analysis of NARS data. I pulled their uh, median sold price on a national level and also the dates, but everything else is my own analysis. In any case, looking at uh, the peak, which was the all-time record highs um, for um, uh, prices, 
set back in June of 2022, that was just under $414,000 compared to the trough, which was in January of 2023, we were at 361,000. That was um, 2022's correction, right? A decrease in prices down by 13%. However, because home prices have been increasing ever since then, more or less, uh, in fact, they have increased by 9% um, from January of 2023 to March of 2024, a gain of 9%. So therefore, the median U.S. home sold price is only down by 5% compared to the peak, compared to the 13% correction we saw in 2022. Um, also, we're only $20,000 away from getting to all-time record highs. Uh, again, which was set back in uh, June of 2022. So to summarize that, because um, prices have increased by 9% compared to the trough, we're only down by 5% compared to the all-time record highs that was set back in 2022. Something I found to be uh, really interesting as well is that for March at 393,500, that is a seven month high, which is seasonal though, right? Because home prices tend to increase, especially in the spring home buying season. Um, and also um, uh, they tend to increase compared to the winter months, of course, as well. Uh, this is much better than the nearly three year low though uh, for the US median sale price for new houses. There's quite this dichotomy in our US housing market, right? Existing houses for the resale market, um, uh, prices uh, uh, at a seven month high, whereas home sold prices for new home construction at nearly a three-year low. Now, don't take my word for it. Here is our good Uncle Fred, and the source here is the U.S. Census Bureau. The most recent data we have from them is February of 2024, when the median sales price is at 400,500. The all-time record highs was set back in October of 2022 at nearly $497,000. That's a decrease of 19% compared to the all-time record highs, whereas the resale market of existing houses are only down by 5%. All right, let's talk about the changes compared to one month ago and also from one year ago and how that um, compares to years past going back to 2010. So the change in um, home prices from February through March this year is a gain of 2.5%. That's only the second month-to-month -month increase since June of 2023. Also, it's lower than the 3.2% gain we saw from March last year. So March last year, we saw an increase of the median sole price up by 3.2%, whereas this March, a gain of 2.5%. Additionally, this uh, gain of 2.5% this March is lower than the historical average going back to 2010. Because based on my nerdy Excel formula here, the average March month to month change, that's a change from February to March each and every year, going back to 2010 is a gain of 4.2%, whereas this March, it only increased by 2.5%. In regards to the year of year changes, that increased again by 4.8%. That marked the ninth straight month of yearly gains. Also, at this time last year, home prices absolutely tanked. Uh, so for example, back in March last year, um, prices decreased by 1.1%. Maybe they didn't uh, tank per se, but that was the first time we saw a decrease in the median US sole price since way back in February of 2012. So quite a turnaround compared to a year ago. Last year, prices down by 1.1%. This year, up by 4.8%. Now, having said that, that gain uh, this March is lower than historical averages going back to 2010 because the average March year-over-year -year change going back to 2010 is a gain of 6%, whereas this year, it only increased by 4.8%. But wait, there's more because I want to share how um, the numbers here compares to years past. So going back to March of 2022, two years ago, the uh, median sold price increased by 4%. So barely squeaking out a gain over the past two years. And that's likely due to that 13% decrease we saw in the second half of 2022. In any case, compared to 2021, we're up a, um, by 19% 
from four years ago, March of 2020, up a whopping 40%. And from five years ago, up a whopping 52%. Absolutely insane. Um, something I added here as well, just for fun, is that back in March of 2008, compared to March of 2009, prices tanked by 15%, whereas this year, it increased by 4.8%. So if you guys wanna see home prices absolutely tank, like we saw um, right during the Great Recession, of course, we have a long ways to go. All right, let's get back to NARS uh, article here. Let's talk about first-time home buyers. So they were responsible for 32% of all sales in March, up from 26% in February, and up from 20% from March of 2023. All cash sales. A lot of people ask, ask me about all cash buyers in the greater Sacramento area. Our share of cash buyers is around 18%. Whereas on a national level, it's at 28%. That's down from February, but still up slightly from one year ago. Also, individual investors or second home buyers who make up a lot of cash sales purchase 15% of all houses in March, down from 21% in February and 17% from March of 2023. Meanwhile, distressed home sales, which are foreclosures and short sales, virtually non-existent and has been for several years now. Uh, we're only at 2% of all home sales were distressed sales. All right, before we wrap this video up, um, I wanna share a few slides with you guys, also from uh, the National Association of Realtors. And this is a look at existing home sales uh, or home prices uh, from one year ago. Again, this March up by 4.8%, whereas a year ago we were down by 1%. The first time we saw a decrease on a year of year basis since 2012. What I found to be interesting though, is that we're seeing this year of year increase gaining momentum, right? So in uh, December last year, an increase of 4.1%, the following month increasing again, and then increasing once again in uh, February. So uh, we are up um, compared to a year ago, but we're, uh, the momentum is kind of losing velocity. Uh, per se. Also, here's a look at um, home sales this March by region. So 45% of all home sales this March came from the South, Midwest at 24%, the Northeast at 12%, the West made up 19% of all sales uh, on a national level. Uh, now, something here to keep in mind, 45% of all home sales this March were in the range of 250 to 500,000, but we saw a 7% share in the range of 750 to $1 million. Now, here's where it makes sense here regarding the mix in sales, right? So here is the percent change in sales from a year ago by price range. So sales that sold for less than $100,000, giant decrease of 22%. 100,000 to 250, down by 16%. 250 to 500, down by 8.1%. And again, keep in mind the U.S. median sold price approximately at $394,000, um, which is likely being inflated due to a mix in sales. What I mean by that is a huge increase in sales for over $1 million compared to decreases uh, for less than $500,000. So in the range of $750 to $1 million, an increase of 5%, $1 million plus giant increase of 14%. So because we're seeing more sales for over 750,000 and less sales for less than that, that is inflating the overall US median home sold price. And with that said, if you guys got any value out of today's video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Of course, I appreciate you. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.